Welcome back. You're still tuned into your stocks, and now we'll answer all your stock queries. Let's welcome Shaina Mukdam, independent market expert, and Vaishali Parikh, head of tech research at Prabhudas Leeladhar. And uh, welcome, ladies, uh, to the show. And it's a hell of a long weekend, so we do have a lot of queries lined up for you as well. So let's get started. Jyoti Suri is writing to us from New Delhi. She holds 10 shares of TCS at 2,500 rupees a share. Wants to know if she should buy more shares at the current market price. Uh, Vishali, let me come to you first up. How are how is the stock looking when it uh, comes to technical levels in the charts as well, especially today when these stocks are under pressure? Hi, very good afternoon, and thanks for having me on the show. So I would say yes. So IT index on the whole has uh, shown a some bit of weakness, but I don't think there is a damage to the trend. So I would say TCS has a good support at thirty eight hundred. And having said that, I think uh, these are the good levels to add more. Okay, good levels to add more on TCS right now. Shaina, fundamentally, how is the stock looking? Because we have seen this uh, warning coming in from Accenture. They've cut it, cut guidance actually. Uh, in that case, do you like TCS or do you think you should play the IT theme via any other stock? Well, in the large cap, I still like TCS as a top pick. Uh, one is because we are likely to see expansion in margins, like we've already seen, and I believe over FY25, at least the second half growth is likely to come back, and we will likely to see double-digit growth. So to that extent, uh, I think uh, TCS, we've seen dividends also pretty good. We saw the recent buyback. So if one is holding for the longer term. I think one needs to be uh, in TCS as part of your portfolio holdings. Okay, TCS should be a part of your portfolio holdings. Uh, let's move on to the next uh, query now. Pooja Shrivastava is writing to us from Chandigarh. Holds 10 shares of ITC at 200 rupees a share, so that's a good price level because now the stock is at 427, and that's where the breakout really happened for ITC. She wants to know whether to hold or book her profits. Uh, the only thing is her quantity was really less. But Shaina, what's your take? Do you think uh, after the uh, promoter sell the uh, selling that has come by by bat on ITC, this is a good buy at current levels? Yeah, that is a positive because we've seen you know three and a half percent overhang now out of the way, and they have indicated BAT has indicated that they are not likely to reduce it at least in the uh, medium term uh, below twenty five percent. So that gives you that amount of stability. Secondly, I think uh, the performance in terms of margin margin expansion there also is continuing. Uh, valuations is extremely attractive. You know, even though the price has gone up over the last uh, year. Year, year and a half, still it's available at 20 times one year forward. So that gives you that comfort to hold ITC for the long term. Okay, should hold ITC from a fundamental perspective. Vaishali, what are the charts suggesting here? ITC, um, a good buy at current levels. I would say so because technically we have also recommended this to our clients because uh, if you see uh, chartically there has been a long consolidation at 400 levels and out of which I mean after a very long time we are seeing a breakout and sustaining so even while the market was choppy this was holding on and was acting as a defensive uh, stock so I would say yes it's buy now I mean he can add even more at these levels because we are looking at a target of 460 to 480 from here Okay, that is on IT. Uh, that is on ITC. Both fundamentally and technically, it is looking good. Uh, let's go on to the next query. Samik Mohapatra is writing to us from Mumbai. Holds twelve hundred shares of Petronet LNG at two eighty three rupees a share. Wants to know whether he should book his losses or stay invested. Uh, Vishali, uh, you come in on this one because it's been quite volatile. Petronet did well this year. There was around twenty percent rally, but last year it has been quite volatile. What do you make of this one? So well, right now we are seeing some profit booking, but what is important is two uh, fifty five acts as a very good support. So if we see the stock uh, closing below two fifty levels, then that could call in for further uh, corrective move. So I would say yes, keep a stop loss, but hold for now. Okay, keep a stop loss, but hold for now. That's the technical view on uh, Petronet LNG. Shaina, what uh, do you make of it fundamentally? There's so much happening in the oil and gas economy. Uh, we spoke about. Uh, LNG price is coming down now. There's an indication they would go up again. How do you play Petronet in that case? I would prefer that the investor switches from Petronet. Uh, there are a couple of reasons why valuations are not too stretched. At the same time, uh, you know the utilization of the surplus cash on books, which is pretty good actually as of now, uh, is in into investments diversification into uh, petrochemical manufacturing. I think these things, uh, this this investment will fructify 
over the next three years, three years plus. So in the meanwhile, we are likely to see a pressure on the balance sheet and on the numbers. So I would prefer that at least for the me uh, medium term, the investor can, uh, you know, exit. Okay, so exit Petnet LNG in the medium term because of the capex issues and the balance sheet stress also that would come about because of that. Uh, moving on to the next SMS that we have, Lakshmi Vijay is writing to us from Chennai, who has 300 shares of Realtel at 130 rupees a share and 300 shares of NMDC at 189 rupees a share. She wants to know future prospects of her investments. Uh, Shaina, let me come to you on this one because Realtel has been a one-way mover. Um, uh, what do you make of this one? Because uh, okay, let me come to you first, Vaishali. Uh, tell us about these two stocks. How? Are, what is the technical? Uh, tech, what are the technical suggesting here? So yes, uh, I agree. Railtel has given superb uh, performing results and uh, returns. So I would say continue holding. Uh, but uh, I mean, one has to be disciplined, as I would say. 345 acts as a very crucial support. So 345 would be the support. And once the stock once again gets into momentum, I think in all likelihood it is ready to relook at the previous highs of 450, 480 levels. So it is a positive view for now. And as far as NMDC is concerned. I think overall full metal pack is doing very well. And this is one of the stocks which has not really participated so far, but it is just in a consolidation phase. So with 190 as a support and near term target comes to 220, the further confirmation comes only about 220 for a target of 240 to 250. So yes, hold with 190 as a stock list. Okay, all right. So the, that is the technical advice for these two stocks, NMDC and Railtel. China, what uh, what are your thoughts on this one, especially Railtel? Because now the idea has been that these are overvalued, the railway stocks, the PSUs, in general, the space. Uh, what is your take? Well, though the stock has doubled, you know, in the last one year, at the same time, I think valuation was still, uh, you know, not on the overstretched uh, basis for Railtel, uh, given the fact that they have got a lot of new orders uh, from, uh, you know, uh, railways, uh, some of the other uh, government uh, organizations. So I think to that extent, the order book position will support a good growth going forward. Uh, so I would uh, suggest continue to hold. Yeah, keep stop losses as uh, Vishali has suggested. That is necessary. Uh, as far as NMDC goes, I would suggest that one can book part profits. Because while I know prices have stabilized currently, uh, if you look at it over a three-year basis, they have come off substantially. And we've seen NMDC already cut some uh, prices uh, in, the, in, in the, I think, a uh, couple of weeks back. So to that extent, I would suggest that the stock having performed, uh, one can look to book profits. Okay, all right. So that's NMDC and Railtel. Uh, let's go across to the next uh, query. Ram Prasad is writing to us from Hyderabad. Holds 1,000 shares of Muthoot Microfinance at 230 rupees a share. Wants to know whether to hold or sell at current levels. Uh, Shaina, I want to come to you uh, for this one because microfinance companies, uh, there was a talk about recovery now. that uh, There was a note recently that there is some pressure coming by. What do you suggest the investor should do with this one? See, this was one of the uh, IPOs that didn't really do well. And uh, I believe uh, even from current levels, uh, one can hold for a bounce because it has been consolidating for some time. So it could bounce. But uh, I would look to exit from uh, the counter and look to uh, invest into some stronger uh, companies in the overall segment or maybe even in directly into banks. So I think NBFCs over a period of time are likely to find it difficult to compete with the larger banks and valuations at about two times book I don't see it's very cheap even currently. Uh, so but wait for a bounce. Okay wait for a bounce when it comes to Muthoot Micro. Uh, Vaishali on to you. What do you make of this one? Well, I would agree with China because even chartically, you know, the stock is showing some consolidation. It has seen a one-way fall right from the recent high of 240. And right now, technically, it's in uh, deep oversold and uh, we are seeing a consolidation at 200. So I think a bounce up to 220, 230 could be expected. That is a level that one can have a relook whether to exit or are we seeing further run up from there. So 220 acts as a hurdle. So that is where I think if one has to exit should be done there. Okay, all right. Uh, going on to the last, last query of the show today. Sohail Aslam is writing to us from Meerut. He holds 100 shares of G Power at 284 rupees a share and wants to know if he can hold the shares for a period of one more year. 
Uh, Vaishali, uh, Chartikli, how is the stock looking? Uh, the investors making losses, but generally, uh, how do you look at the stock? So I would say there's nothing much really happening in this. I would rather say get into a better stock. I mean, there are many power stocks. So my view would be at, at least get into Tata Power or Torrent Power. Those have a very strong trend. So I think I would look at those stocks. Okay, so you should shift from G Power to other big power names. Shaina, your quick take on this one. Uh, uh, do you also like Vaishali, like other power stocks? Absolutely. I agree with Vaishali on this. And while if you see the operations, the you know financial numbers are improving, losses are coming down. At the same time, uh, you know I don't see you know why uh, an investor should continue holding this for the longer term. There are better stocks available. Okay, all right. Better stocks available in the power space. So. Now, can exit G power at current levels. Thank you, ladies, for joining us today and answering all those queries so patiently. So, uh, that is uh, the query session on uh, your stocks today. But for now, we'll take your leave on this edition of Your Stocks. But do remember to email us your queries and we'll address them with our experts. Stay tuned for Closing Bell to take you through the last hour of trade.